Good morning guys, welcome back to Tomorrow Day Farms. Today we are going to do some peach pie filling. I'm almost out and I got a really good deal on peaches um, from the Amish, less than a dollar a pound. So we did get a whole flat. The flat cost us $25. So I'm going to try to get as many peaches uh, for peach pie filling as I can. Except for one basket I'm going to turn into two dams, which I'll probably film as well. If you guys want that, leave that down in the comments below. And um, the reason I'm doing all this is because they're stating that next year peaches are going to skyrocket. And I felt like if I can get them for less than a dollar a pound this year, if only I have to I get maybe one or two baskets um, next year to just kind of fill in my my the holes of my canning that's what I'm gonna do so I'm I've kind of got started but I'm gonna pause you take you over there and we're I'm gonna go through what I've already got done Whew. all right so what I have here is a pot of boiling water back here I'm just gonna spin you guys a tad this is peach brine um, when I do pie fillings I'll show you a jar of it this is my brine that I just made too much brine. So I can it and then when I do more pie filling, I will use that as a base to another pie um, later on in the winter if I wanna do like a peach uh, rhubarb or peach and raspberry or whatever I wanna do. I have a nice brine to go with it. My jars are in my canner with a shot of vinegar. Once again, this must be done. Um, you you must sanitize your jars. I keep seeing people that don't sanitize their jars when they when they water bath can. I just think this is a very important step and this needs to be this has to be done for a minimum of 10 minutes. I put mine on as I'm working. So it will literally just sit there and it will just they will continue to sanitize. That is me, you do you. Okay? So in this pot, what I'm going to do because I've already washed all my peaches. I have my piggy bowl over here. And all I'm going to do is take these peaches. Sorry for keep moving, you guys. And I'm just going to cross this like so. This makes it easier to peel. Drop it in the water. And I'm going to do quite a few at a time here. This is actually... Um, last year's peach pie filling video is probably my most popular video on YouTube right now. So, but I did need more. Um, because I do, I use it for multiple things. If, say, I want to, um, do, uh, jam in the middle of the winter, okay? I'm going to try to bring you guys in a little bit closer there. Um, I can just open a jar of this and make and make jam out of it. Okay? I can also make crumbles, I can make cakes. I'm not a huge baker, <laughs> but I do love to make pies. This is super simple. And if you can get them at a good deal and you enjoy peaches, um, I've also dehydrated peaches. I was thinking about doing maybe a few of those. But we're going to see how far my six baskets here go. When I say baskets, they're three liter baskets here in Ontario. Probably it's a Canadian thing. Um, show you the basket. They just come in like a basket like this. Yeah, it's three liters. Okay. If number ones are out of your price range, ask for seconds. They may have a few bruises on it or they're just not perfectly shaped. Do not worry. Ask for the seconds. I've done that plenty of years to fill to fill up my my canning shelves. If peaches are right out of your um, your budget, don't worry about that either. Go get a bag of frozen ones and do the same same thing I'm doing. I will link uh, using frozen fruit. I did a mixed frugal canning. It was $11, and I can't remember how many jars I got, but 
we got a couple baskets here to go through. So now what I'll do is I will wait for the skins to start to kind of peel off. I made with my piggy bowl again. And then I just use my spider and put into a bowl of cold water with some lemon juice. That just holds the color of the peach. And then I peel them. And it's super simple. And then I just core them and put them in my pot, which will take over this pot when I'm ready. Um, so I'm going to do that, wait for these, and then I'll bring you guys back when I'm peeling. All right, guys. So right here, I have my stainless steel pot. This is what I'm going to put all my peaches in um, that we're going to put the... I'm going to move this this way. This is just my pig bowl. Um, but as you can see, the skins peel right off. Okay? And then you will have to probably change your lemon water um, probably a couple times depending on how many you're doing. And And I'll just leave that in that water until I peel. Because you want them to um, keep that color, right? You don't want those black looking peaches in your jar, you know? So the lemon water actually helps with that. You can, we can't buy it here or I've never seen it. Um, it's a citric acid. Vinegar does the same thing. So I do the more natural route, but if you happen to have cit citric acid in your house, you could put whatever the amount is you need in there. That I don't know. I've never used it, but, and my peaches actually, I couldn't do this yesterday like I wanted to. We had rolling blackouts yesterday, so I could have went and set everything up in the outdoor kitchen, but it was kind of a crazy day and I definitely have enough butane burners and I have a camp chef stove, a three burner camp chef stove and things like that. I could have definitely done it in the outdoor kitchen, but I didn't really want to drag the jars. I haven't got it all set up yet. So, but I'm just going to keep peeling here, guys. I'm going to do all three baskets here and I'm going to get them cut up. I'll show you actually how I cut one up. Shouldn't go too bad. I'll go to the very first one I did here, which is that one. So you just take your peach and there's obviously, everyone knows there's a pit inside. And if you get organic peaches, you can do what our kids like and they like it when we try to grow peach trees. It would take forever. But just, I do slices. You do you if you want to, you don't like a big chunky pie then just uh, do what you want, like however you want to slice it. But I just kind of go around, I try to keep my hand over that pot to hold that peach juice that's coming out. And I will leave the recipe for my brine down in the, in the description box. And it's really simple. Okay. These are fairly sweet peaches anyways, so my brine is pretty light. It was uh, half a cup of sugar to five cups of water. But yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to keep peeling here, and I'm going to keep going, and uh, I'll bring you back when I'm all done. All right, guys, so what I got here, I got all the peaches done. So now I just have my burner on low. I'm just going to bring this up to a gentle boil, or not a boil, like heat them through. And then, oh, I had a couple pits kind of split on me there. And, uh, <clears throat> and then we are going to get these beautiful peaches into jars with that simple syrup over there. Now the one thing I do want to say about peaches, they love to float. So um, this is why I do this method. Um, 
and I just found this method to be better. My older video has me cooking them in the simple syrup, but I found this method a little bit better. I can get more air out and more fruit in my jar. But these are delicious peaches. I have enjoyed them immensely. I, I've eaten like half a basket. They are so good and so sweet. And then I have on order corn. So um, I'm going to be shucking a lot of corn here. It's probably Wednesday. I think they said they'll have it ready for me. And uh, we'll get some of that blanched and in the freezer and then I'm gonna leave the rest in cobs and put it in the freezer but this is almost ready to go um, guys just one thing I don't add clear gel I add my thickener when I make the pie the crumble whatever um, for me to, to use clear gel I'm just not a fan of it um, but I mean if you want to do clear gel you go right ahead okay this is how I do it. Your kitchen, your rules, you do what you want to do. So I'm just going to continue heating these through. Um, my jars are more than ready. My syrup is ready. And we'll get canning these up. I'll get you set up. I'll actually turn the light on now. It is warm today. It's like uh, 28 here. And they're calling for major thunderstorms. So, um, And we don't know if Hydro One's going to do another rolling blackout. So I'm going to try to get this done and uh, uploaded for you guys for today. This was supposed to be this morning's video, but like I said, blackout, can't really, uh, well, I could have, but it was a very stressful morning. So, but we will get these gorgeous peaches in these jars and uh, with all their gorgeous juice they're making here. And uh, we'll have some peach pie filling for that canning shelf. All right, guys, so now we're gonna fill up the jars. And I just took them out of the canner. They're really warm. Then I had to stop and talk to Michael for a minute, so they did cool off a little bit. But that's okay. So now we're just gonna push these down and get as many peaches. Like I said, they are float. They will float up. See how I have way too much juice in there? So I'm just going to grab a spoon. I'm still learning that ladle. <laughs> oh goodness, guys, I have had quite the morning. I dropped the pancake bowl in the frying pan. It's been a morning. And then I'm going to, now I have this syrup over here in case I need to add a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will absolutely do so but and if I don't use it I'm just gonna put it back into a jar and uh, back into a jar and I'm just gonna can it it'll be just fine but these peaches make beautiful syrup all on their own and then we're gonna push this down just want to make sure you guys can see. Sorry, I'll try to close this window, guys. I just wanted the breeze in here. It's so warm out. There we go. And uh, I have my lids in hot water. And these will process, guys, for 15 minutes. Okay, according to the Bernard and Canning book, that's what I'm using, but I'm not using their recipe, okay, because it had like raisins in it, and this is how I like to do it, because then you can do a whole lot more with it than one thing. If I just want to open a jar and eat the peaches, I can do that. If, uh, you know, I want to make a peach pie, if I want to make a peach ra raspberry, like I said, you know, this just leaves it plain and simple. And, uh, you know, I, I want to make some jam later on in the winter. I can do all those things with these, with these peaches. Just 
adding weight. I give them a little bit of extra room. That is me due to they do like to float. I like to give them a little bit of head space, about a quarter inch head space. And I'm gonna, so I've debubbled and I'm going to get these cleaned up. And I do have a little bit of vinegar, not a whole lot because I don't want vinegar in my peaches. starting to rain now according to the boys they just come in from doing logs and pig barns and add a little bit more juice there guys to that one and I'm just gonna turn this this one as well because I do like a fair bit of syrup um, in my jars now I am thinking about going online and seeing how much gem jars are um, it's almost like the uh, the Tatlers but Canadian so if any of you guys have those I think our subscriber Suzanne Suzanne has them I think fingertip tight guys super simple And then I'm going to get these back in the canner and keep filling. Ooh, perfect. All right. So now I'm just going to get them back in the canner, fill the other jars, and I'll bring you back when I'm all done. All right, guys, we're going to pull them out of the canner now. Lift you up a tad, bring you in, so you can see those gorgeous peaches. There we go. Making sure I give them a bit of space in between. And then when I want to make a pie, I just take it out of the jar, add some flour, add some flour to it, and a little bit of sugar really try to watch how much sugar we eat um, especially myself really trying to limit how much sugar I don't sugar my coffee or anything but they are gorgeous they are gorgeous this is more than enough for us for sure but like I said I can do so much with it now because I haven't added a whole lot to it I can add a shot of vanilla to it make some individual pies for the freezer I can do a lot with this and there we go and that's what I got guys and that is awesome All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Still trying to get to 500 so I can send out those cutting boards. Um, we do have them here, and uh, I'd like to get them out to you guys. But if this video would help somebody, um, please share it and uh, share the channel. And I just hope you guys have a really awesome day. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I will see you super soon. Bye.